And Class 1A's biggest soccer stage, the Final Four. First, Peoria Christian taking on North Shore Country Day. And Peoria Christian goalie Josh Walton was terrific. Makes a diving save right here. This game scoreless at halftime. Second half, Peoria Christian gets a great chance to take the lead. Keenan Schmickall heads the ball to Colson Below. Below's header is just denied point blank. North Shore Country Day converted two opportunities into two second half goals. They send Peoria Christian to the third place game with a two zip victory. I'm so proud of these guys. It's been uh, 13 years, I believe, since uh, we've been here. So it was lovely bringing them here. And uh, I love all of them. I knew I, all of them gave their effort today. It's not about them. It's about us. And uh, just love this group. Uh, thought to the end and just couldn't get a couple over the line. Semifinal number two, how about you? Normal U High versus Columbia, 13th minute. Cooper Stengel on the beautiful move slides the ball across to Owen Pacetti for the one-timer. Roofs it. One zip, normal U High. I think Owen's a little fired up. Later, it's going to be Pacetti finding Stengel for a goal. This one comes in the 18th minute, and you just saw the two goals that have sent normal U High pretty to the state title game. Pioneers win it two zip over Columbia. I'm so proud of everyone. Everyone put their all into this game and really worked hard to get here. I'm just, I'm really excited, and I, I'm so proud of all the boys. We're just all hyped up for. Uh, um, the win today, we'll celebrate, you know, tonight, and then get ready for the state championship on Saturday. Well done. Job's not done. One more to go. Congrats to you, High, on the Saturday state title game against Country Day. The Class 2A Final Four kicks off tomorrow. Peoria and Notre Dame two wins away from back-to-back -back state titles. The Irish are excited about a matchup tomorrow with St. Lawrence, a Catholic school that will play an attacking style against PND. And they send numbers forward, and I think that could be a benefit to us because um, we're good in open space. I think this might be more of a wide open game, and I think it's going to be a fun game for the, the casual fan to watch. Full state final soccer coverage all weekend here on 25 Sports. The Bradley Braves today announced that after 28 years, Jim DeRose is retiring as Bradley soccer coach. DeRose's Bradley teams were nationally ranked eight different seasons and made the Elite Eight in 2007. To high school volleyball, the Morton Potters are a somewhat unlikely Elite Eight team, but their journey to tomorrow's Super Sectional has been a four-year wait. The Morton Potters lost in the first game of regionals a year ago. The Potters began this year with three wins and three losses to start Middle Atlantic Conference play. Now the Potters are the last Peoria area team standing in the Elite Eight. I think we just had a point where we were getting frustrated with ourselves and how we were playing and then we really turned it around, stayed calm and um, just believed in each other. We did have a little bit of a setback in the middle of the season. It was a struggle but we overcame it. We came back, we've been practicing really hard and just playing their heart out on the court every time we go. We um, definitely believe in ourselves more. I think our win against Metamora pumped up our confidence so much more. Well, going into the season, I mean, people weren't really expecting much from us. We finished, I think, tied for fifth last year. We weren't really that great. But I think this year, we knew we were good. We knew we had potential. We had Carly back. We were just ready to play, and the confidence is definitely there this year. The Morton Potters rely heavily on a senior class, a senior class that four years ago thought they might be able to win a junior high state title. They were on their way to the big game four years ago when COVID happened. <laughs> Everybody had their bags on, coats on, walking out to the bus. Uh, our athletic director walked in and was like, hey, it's canceled. You're, you're, you're done. We got the call that it was canceled, obviously, because of COVID. Like, obviously, we thought it was just going to be like two weeks and we get to play them again, but it never happened. So four years later, our chance to do it. You know what I mean? You're ready again? Yes, we are ready. And this time, the bus will take you there? Yes, the bus will take us there. <laughs> Good luck to the Potters. The Normal West Wildcats also earned a sectional plaque last night. The Wildcats face mighty Chicago Power Mother McCauley tomorrow, but they've got an opportunity to get to the state final four. I think you just, just got to play. If you're in a super sectional, I feel like it's uh, anybody can win. Um, and so I'm just looking forward to, to competing in that environment. Um, that's the match we've been wanting all year. Just one final Steelers 20, Titans.